Lecture 19. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to the Virtual Universities course on Business and Technical Communication. While in the last lesson we looked at how to write direct requests, in today's lecture we'll look at how to write routine good news and goodwill messages. In this lecture we will learn to decide when to write a routine uh, good news or goodwill message, when is it appropriate to write such a message, We'll also look at how to adjust the basic organizational pattern to fit the type of message that you are writing. What is the organization of a routine good news, goodwill message and how will you adjust the basic organizational pattern of a message to your purpose. We'll also uh, add resale and sales promotion material uh, when appropriate and look at how to do that. Also. We we'll look at how to encourage the, the reader to take the, uh, any desired action that you want them to take. Obviously, when you're writing any message, uh, there are times when you want the reader to take some action uh, based on your message, and there are times when there is no action desired. So, if there is an action desired, then we will look at how you can encourage that action to be prompt and forthcoming. We'll also uh, look at how to write credit approvals and recommendation letters, and how to use the correct form for such specialized messages as instructions, news releases and goodwill letters. Now when we talk of organizing positive messages, we need to keep in mind that most business communication consists of messages that present neutral information or messages that answer requests positively and establish better relationships. So you'll probably get a lot of uh, practice composing these routine good news and goodwill messages because they are really what, the, what uh, you will be involved or engaged in most in your uh, business life. And understanding how positive messages are organized allows you to compose excellent messages quickly and promptly. So once you get a basic understanding of the organization of uh, goodwill messages, then it will not be a problem for you as you are engaged in writing them in a routine uh, and you'll be able to write your messages, convey your uh, information, convey your the desired action very effectively. Of course, um, intercultural positive messages are best when organized according to the audience's needs. Agar aap koi message de rahe hain jo ke aapne aapne kisi aise insaan ne padhna hai jo kisi aur culture se belong karte hain to phir aapko ye khayal rakhna hoga ki jo bhi aapka message hai wo aapke audience ke needs ke hisab se ho aur unke cultural norms follow karta ho na ke aapki cultural norms follow kare but when you are communicating with a us american or canadian audience whose cultural differences are very minimal then you will use the direct plan uh, they, if you're looking at American audiences, North American audiences, whether they are in the U.S. or in Canada, then they they don't have a lot of di uh, cultural differences amongst them. So uh, you will write uh, your message in a direct way to look at to keep in mind their uh, culture, and uh, also you need to keep in mind that whether your message is oral or written, positive messages begin with a clear statement of the main idea. They then move on to clarify any necessary details and then they close with a courteous close. They end with a courteous close. So there are three basic sections to a routine goodwill message. The first is a statement of the main idea. Second uh, section is the detail and the third section is a courteous close. Let's look at the clear statement of the main idea. A goodwill message ka section hai, jo ke main idea hai, dekhte hai ke wo kya hai. Now, we know that all business messages have two basic uh, purposes. The first is to convey information. Kisi ko koi uh, information muhaiya karne ho, wo ek, ek uska maksad hai business message likhne ka. And secondly, to produce in the audience a favorable or at least an accepting response or attitude. Dusra maksad ye hai ke jo bhi padhne wale hain wo aapke aapka message padhke unka jo bhi response ho wo positive ho wo favorable ho and when so once you know uh, that you have these two purposes then you need to begin your message with a clear statement of the main idea ye to ho gaya aapka purpose ke aapne information deni hai 
और आप चाहते हैं कि आपकी जो भी इन्फॉर्मेशन है जो भी आपके मैसेज में आप पैगाम दे रहे हैं वो फेवरेबली एक्सेप्ट हो अब आप अपना मेन आइडिया स्टेट करेंगे एंड बेसिकली वेन योर बिगिनिंग योर मैसेज विद मेन आइडिया यू आर एक्चुअली प्रिपेयरिंग योर ऑडियंस फॉर वॉट इज़ टू फॉलो आप उनको थोड़ा सा प्रिपेयर कर रहे हैं कि अब इस मैसेज में ये आएगा एक उनको आप शुरू में एक हिंट दे रहे हैं एक समरी स्टेटमेंट दे रहे हैं सो दे फॉर इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट बिकॉज यू आर प्रिपेयरिंग योर ऑडियंस फॉर वॉट इज़ टू फॉलो इट्स इम्पॉर्टेंट दैट यू मेक योर स्टेटमेंट एंड योर ओपनिंग क्लियर एंड कंसाइज इट शुड बी दे शुड बी नो एम्बिगटी इन वॉट इज टू बी स्टेटेड एंड ऑल्सो इट शुड नॉट बी वेरी लॉन्ग अगर बहुत लंबी ओपनिंग स्टेटमेंट होगी तो ऑडियंस को उसमें से एग्जैक्ट डिटेल या एग्जैक्ट मेन आइडिया ढूंढने में या समझने में मुश्किल होगी लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट टू इंट्रोडक्टरी स्टेटमेंट्स विच आर बेसिकली मेकिंग द सेम पॉइंट बट वन क्लैटर्स ऑफ द मेन आइडिया वाइल द अदर वन प्रजेंट्स द मेन आइडिया इन अ मोर कंसाइज मैनर बिकॉज इट्स ब्रीफ एंड टू द पॉइंट इंस्टेड ऑफ सेंग I am pleased to inform you that after deliberating the matter carefully our personnel committee has recommended you for appointment as a staff accountant it might it would be better to say you have been selected to join our firm as a staff accountant beginning march 20th now the meaning in both the statements is the same but in the first statement it's a very long statement nearly double the size of the second statement and the uh, writer gets to the point at the end of the statement rather than uh, at the beginning of the statement whereas in the second statement the writer gets to the point immediately gives all the necessary information and ends the opening statement there the next section will uh, will have the details of the appointment and that would be it now how would these details be laid out how would these details be organized the middle part of a uh, good news routine goodwill message is typically the longest section of such a message zahir hai jo jab humne shuru mein to sirf ek opening statement de di ab jo sari detail hai wo middle section mein aayegi isliye wo middle section jo hai wo sabse lamba hoga your reasons for communicating can usually be expressed in a sentence or two but you will need more space or time to explain your point completely so that your audience will have no confusion or lingering doubt so whatever uh, you have when you've stated something in your main idea in your opening you will use more time more space to explain whatever it is that you're saying so that there there are no confusions in the audience's mind now when you're providing necessary detail the task is easiest when you're responding to a series of questions agar kuch aap se aapke padhne wale ne pehle se kuch sawalat puche hon aur aap unka jawab de rahe hain या आपको ख्याल है कि आपके पढ़ने वालों के दिमाग में ये सवाल उभरेंगे और आप पहले से उनका जवाब दे रहे हैं तो सबसे आसान आसानी उसमें ये होती है कि आप उनको एक लिस्ट के तौर पे लिख लें सो इफ़ यू पुटिंग दैम डाउन एज ए लिस्ट और एज ए नंबर स्पेशली एज ए नंबर लिस्ट इट बिकम्स ईजिएस्ट टू टैकल ऑल द इशूज ऑल द नेसरी डिटेल्स दैट यू आर गोइंग टू बी लुकिंग एट इन योर मिडल सेक्शन in addition to providing uh, details in the middle section you also need to maintain the supportive tone that you established in the beginning when a routine message must convey mildly disappointing information put the negative answer into a favorable context or into as favorable a context as possible agar aapko lage ki jo information aap de rahe hain usme kuch aisa element hai ki aapke padhne wale disappoint ho ya unko uh, कुछ अफसोस हो ये खबर सुन के तो फिर आप उसको फेवरेबली बात बताएं उसमें ये दिखाएं कि उसमें उनका क्या फ़ायदा है ना कि जो नेगेटिव न्यूज़ है वो आप सबसे पहले बताएं लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट एन एग्जांपल वेयर वन वे ऑफ गिविंग माइली डिसअपॉइंटेड न्यूज़ वुड बी टू से नो वी नो लॉन्ग कैरी द स्पोर्ट्स गर्ल लाइन ऑफ स्वेटर्स इफ दैट इज़ वॉट दी कस्टमर इज़ आस्ट फॉर now this statement is very direct it's very blunt but it's also disappointing to the person who has requested uh, this uh, brand however instead of this you could write the new olympic line has replaced the sports girl sweaters that you asked about olympic features uh, a wider range of colors and sizes more and more contemporary styling 
Now here you have you are giving the same information saying that the sports curl line is no longer available, but you are giving the audience an alternative and you are giving them a favorable news that, uh, that will make them feel good and that will at least give them an alternative rather than giving them a blunt negative answer. A bluntly negative explanation here as you saw was replaced by a more complete description that emphasized how the audience could benefit from the change. However, you need to be careful uh, that you are not using negative information. Be careful though, you can use negative information in this type of message only if you are reasonably sure that the audience will respond positively to your message. If you feel that the audience will not respond positively to what you are saying, then you need to uh, modify the negative information that you are giving out. Because remember, as we talked about earlier, one main purpose of writing a routine goodwill message is to uh, make sure that your audience responds positively towards you and has a positive attitude towards you. So it's important that your courteous close conveys uh, the true courtesy that needs to be extended to your audience. Uh, your message is most likely to succeed if your audience is left with the feeling that you have their personal welfare in mind. In addition, your courteous close will also include any follow-up action that is required. So you need to state clearly who will do what uh, and also, if, if possible, when it will be done. So if you are required to take any action, then you need to state that in your courteous close. And if your reader request is required to take any action, then you need to clarify that as well. Now, coming to acknowledgement orders. Uh, which is another um, key kind of a message that you uh, use in your uh, business, uh, business situations. You get orders and a lot of the times you need to acknowledge them. An, an order acknowledgement is unnecessary, however, if products are being shipped or the services will be provided immediately. Because if, this, if the service is being provided immediately, then you don't really need to acknowledge that order if, if you have received that order through, uh, 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 through a written order you just need you just then confirm when the service will be provided and you provide it acknowledgement orders are uh, acknowledgements for orders are appropriate for large orders first orders and orders that cannot be filled right away ab zahir hai agar ek bahut bada aapko order aaya hai to phir aapko usko acknowledge karna hoga agar koi order aisa aaya hai jo pehli baar kisi company ne ya kisi client ne aapke sath order place kiya usko bhi aap acknowledge karenge kyunki aapne apni goodwill unke sath abhi nayi nayi establish karni hai aur agar koi aisa order hai jo aap foran nahi fill kar sakte ya aap foran wo cheeze muhaiya nahi kar sakte to tab aap usko acknowledge karenge taki jo aapki audience hai unko pata chal jaye ki aapki kya majboori hain aur aap kab ऑर्डर को फिल कर सकते हैं तो इन तीन केसेस में तो आप जरूर ऑर्डर को एक्नॉलेज करेंगे लेकिन अगर आपके रूटीन के ऑर्डर्स हैं जो के रोलिंग बेसिस पे आते हैं तो आपको हर बार उस ऑर्डर को एक्नॉलेज करने की जरूरत नहीं है नाउ इन व्हेन इन एक्नॉलेजिंग ऑर्डर्स अगेन देर डिफरेंट सेक्शन दी फर्स्ट पैराग्राफ स्टेट दी गुड न्यूज एंड द गुड न्यूज ऑब्वियसली फॉर द ऑडियंस इन दिस केस वुड बी दैट दी ऑर्डर इज बींग प्रोसेस्ड and the merchandise is on its way. जाहिर है अगर किसी ने आपसे कोई चीज़ ऑर्डर की है तो उनके लिए तो अच्छी खबर यही है कि आप उस ऑर्डर को पूरा कर सकते हैं और उनको जो भी उन्हें चीज़ ऑर्डर किया वो पहुँचा रहे हैं तो ये तो आप अपने पहले पैराग्राफ में सबसे पहले ये स्टेट करेंगे क्योंकि ये गुड न्यूज़ है दिस इज़ समथिंग दैट विल हैव अ पॉजिटिव इम्पैक्ट ऑन द रीडर जब वो आपका मैसेज खोलेंगे तो वो यही देखना चाह रहे हैं कि आप उनका ऑर्डर फुलफिल कर सकते हैं द मिडल सेक्शन डेमोस्ट्रेट्स द प्रोफेशनलिज्म ऑफ योर फार्म with a clear accurate summary of the transaction when the delivery may be expected the cost of the merchandise uh, shipping and taxes any problems that might have arisen and perhaps your credit terms jo bhi details hain jo bhi aapka khayal hai ki cheeze aisi hain jo ki zaruri hain aapke padhne wale ko batana wo aap ab apni ye middle section mein likhenge इससे आपकी कंपनी के प्रोफेशनलिज्म पता चलता है कंपनी की थरोनेस पता चलती है कि आप कितने थरो हैं कितनी डिटेलिंग में आप जाते हैं और उससे जाहिर है आपके जो क्लाइंट हैं कस्टमर हैं उनको ये तसल्ली रहेगी कि आप ने आपकी हर चीज़ पे अच्छी ग्रिप है दैट यू आर इन कमांड ऑफ द सिचुएशन एंड ऑर्डर एक्नोलिजमेंट फ्रीकुंटली डज अ बिट ऑफ सेलिंग इन द मिडल और क्लोजिंग सेक्शन 
एज वेल पहले तो आपने मिडिल सेक्शन में बता सारी डिटेल्स दे दी कि ऑर्डर कब फिल आउट होगा क्या क्या उसकी कॉस्ट होगी क्या डिटेल्स होंगी कहाँ से पिक करना है एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा कोई अगर प्रॉब्लम्स आपका ख्याल है कि हो सकती हैं आप लेकिन मिडिल सेक्शन में ये भी कोशिश करेंगे कि थोड़ी सी आप अपनी सेल्स पिच भी दें अपनी कंपनी को एक फेवरेबल अपनी कंपनी को या अपने प्रोडक्ट का कोई फेवरेबल एस्पेक्ट आप पॉइंट आउट करें या इसको आप मिडिल सेक्शन में कर सकते हैं या क्लोजिंग सेक्शन में कर सकते हैं इस तरह इस इस इन्फॉर्मेशन को आप रीसेल इन्फॉर्मेशन कहते हैं जाहिर है ऑर्डर आपको मिला गया है सेल आप पूरी कर रहे हैं लेकिन आप रीसेल इन्फॉर्मेशन कम ये मतलब है कि आप चाहते हैं कि आपको वो क्लाइंट दोबारा भी ऑर्डर दें आप उनको कोई अपना जो प्रोडक्ट है वो दोबारा भी बेच सकें तो आप इसी न्यूज़ में इसी मैसेज में उस रीसेल की भी तैयारी करेंगे सो दिस रीसेल इन्फॉर्मेशन बोस्टर्स द कस्टमर्स कॉन्फिडेंस इट रेजेज द कस्टमर्स कॉन्फिडेंस बाई पॉइंटिंग आउट द गुड पॉइंट्स ऑफ अ प्रोडक्ट और अ कंपनी बाय एक्सप्लेनिंग हाउ दी दीज गुड पॉइंट्स विल बेनिफिट द कस्टमर उनको अब पढ़ने वालों को एक तसली हो जाती है कि जो हमने चीज़ ख़रीदी है वो सचमुच बहुत अच्छी है आगे का भी ऑर्डर के लिए तैयारी हो जाती है और जो उनने ऑर्डर अभी किया है उसको भी उनको तसली हो जाती है कि हमने सचमुच अच्छी चीज़ ही ऑर्डर की है क्योंकि आपने अपने लेटर में भी उसके जो भी फेवरेबल पॉइंट्स हैं वो हाईलाइट कर दिए होंगे ऑल्सो एक्नोलॉजिंग वेन यूर एक्नोलॉजिंग ऑर्डर्स यू डू अ लॉट ऑफ सेल्स प्रमोशन you take advantage of the customer's obvious interest in your product uh, you can send along brochures or order blanks to make additional purchases easier so this way you are although the um, customer has ordered uh, with your company they have they are buying your products you will uh, also be promoting other products and you can either uh, attach brochures or include brochures in your mail or even send an order form which they can fill out to order additional uh, material effective resale and effective sales promotion uh, demonstrates a very strong you attitude we've talked about the you attitude before that it's something that is very important in making your audience receptive to your message now let's have a look at uh, uh, an acknowledgement of an order and we'll have a look at the different sections and see what function each section is performing keeping in mind what we've talked about right now as you see in the first section the message says you'll receive your spanavision video cassette recorder in just over 2 weeks now in in this this is the main message and it's stated clearly right at the start is pagam mein sabse shuru mein hi pata chal raha hai padhne wale ko ke ये इसमें मैसेज क्या है मेन चीज़ जो कि आप बताना चाह रहे हैं अपने पढ़ने वाले को वो क्या है वो ये है कि उनने जो चीज़ ऑर्डर की है वो उनको उनको दो हफ्ते के अंदर अंदर मिल जाएगी नाउ इन द मिडिल सेक्शन द राइटर इज़ कन्वेइंग द स्पेसिफिक डिटेल्स ऑफ द ऑर्डर बाय सेंग बिकॉज यू लिव इन मैसीच्यूसेट्स यू एग्जाम फ्राम द इलेनॉय सेल्स टैक्स सो आई एम इनक्लोजिंग अ चेक फॉर ट्वेंटी सिक्स डॉलर फिफ्टीन सेंट्स the amount of the sales tax that you included in your payment koi bhi jo bhi detail thi agar order ke sath kuch aapne paise wapas karne hain ya kuch mazid paise mangne hain ya jo bhi ek us order ke sath koi extra information ya extra koi baat aapne karni hai wo yahan middle section mein ki gayi hai um also the middle section section includes uh, resale and sales promotion which is which builds on the customer's goodwill towards the product and the company Uh, let's have a look at how that's done the writer says mr harman you're going to enjoy your new vcr day after day it's quite versatile and to make it even more so you might want to add a remote control device wired and wireless models are pictured in the enclosed brochure ab jaise ki aapne dekha is part mein yahi middle section ke jo continuation hai isme likhne wale ne ye to saath ek to रीसेल की है ये बताया है पढ़ने वाले को कि आप अपने वी को किस तरह इंजॉय करें क्योंकि जैसे कि आपको याद होगा ओपनिंग में उन्होंने लिखा था कि वो वी भेज रहे हैं और अब वो बता रहे हैं कि ये वी कितना अच्छा है और ये उसको क्यों इंजॉय करेगी और साथ में अब वो उसका रिमोट कंट्रोल बेचने की भी बात कर रहे हैं जो कि इनिशियल ऑर्डर में नहीं इंक्लूडेड था और वो उस उसका भी ब्रोशर उन्होंने भेज दिया है टू इनकरेज दी रीडर टू बाय दैट 
also the customer's name is mentioned as in a personal conversation to increase the feeling of friendliness. This um, using the person's name shows a more a personal attitude towards the customer. It shows a more, um, it shows a closer link between the uh, writer and the reader. Now in closing, the uh, writer offers friendly accessible help by saying, when your new VCR arrives, spend, uh, spend a few minutes with the user's manual. If you have any questions, call toll free 1-800-441-6446 from 9 a.m. to 6 p.m. weekdays and then uh, in brackets uh, central standard time. One of our expert staff members will be happy to help you. As you can see, in closing, they have a very pleasant closing. They have said that when you come to the VCR, you will enjoy it. And if there are any problems, you will call them to this number. In in uh, or ke darmiyan phone karein. Ye ye din hai jin pe aap phone kar sakte hain and we will be happy to help you. So that's obviously a closing. It obviously rounds up all that has been said in the message. It's a farewell and it's personal and it offers help. It's personal, courteous and helpful. Now, another form of uh, routine messages could be. When, the, when you're replying to requests for information and action, which are you to you have to write a letter or ask information on the phone or email or on the or you action or you to write a message, it is a very common form of messages in a business situation. Mein. Any request is important to the person making it whether that person is inside the organization or outside it. So you have to deal with every request as if it was the most important request because for the person who's making that request, it is the most important request for them at that point. The person's uh, opinion of your company, your products, your department, and you yourself will be influenced by how promptly, graciously, and thoroughly the request is handled. Zahir, if someone has asked a request, if they want information or they want to do something, if they don't know you, and if they don't know you, then you will also know that they don't know you, they will also know that 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 they will deal karenge handle karenge aur jis agar aap graciously usko deal karenge to zahir hai un wo aapko behtar samjhenge aur aapko ek behtar company ya businessman samjhenge now obviously it isn't always easy to comply with a the request there are many times when people make requests which are not very easy to fulfill so uh, you need to keep that in mind as well the information may not be immediately at hand uh, you may need to take some action that uh, for which decisions need to be made at a higher level. So you cannot always take the action yourself. You need to wait. So you can't be prompt in re responding. Um, also, you need to keep in mind that because a letter written on letterhead stationery is legally binding, you need to respond, uh, plan your response carefully as well. Ab agar aap अपने कंपनी के लेटर हेड पे या अपने लेटर हेड पे एक कोई खत लिख रहे हैं या कोई बात कर रहे हैं तो वो एक लीगली बाइंडिंग डॉक्यूमेंट हो जाता है इसलिए अब बहुत ख्याल रखें कि आप लेटर हेड के ऊपर क्या चीज लिख के दे रहे हैं जबानी आप बात करें उस वो लीगली बाइंडिंग नहीं हो सकती क्योंकि वो कहीं किसी कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ में ले जाके और पेश नहीं की जा सकती लेकिन अगर आप अपने लेटर हेड पे कुछ लिख के दे रहे हैं तो वो आपको कोर्ट ऑफ लॉ में जा सकते हैं आप सू कर सू के जा सकते हैं उस चीज पे तो इसलिए यू नीड टू बी वेरी केयरफुल व्हाट यू राइटिंग ऑन लेटर हेड स्टेशनरी सो व्हाट एवर रिस्पांस यू आर गिविंग टू रूटीन रिक्वेस्ट्स फॉर इंफॉर्मेशन और एक्शन यू नीड टू बी केयरफुल दैट यू आर एक्चुअली गिविंग आउट द करेक्ट इंफॉर्मेशन नाउ कंपनीज यूजुअली डेवलप फॉर्म रिस्पांसेस टू हैंडल रिपीटेटिव क्वेरीज दैट आर ऑफन सिमिलर अ लॉट ऑफ द टाइम्स कंपनीज गेट if they are dealing with a specific product or a specific service, a lot of the times they will be getting specific types of queries. And then they have, uh, they, they develop templates or uh, form responses 
to handle the same kind of uh, th those uh, repetitive uh, queries or um, messages. Basically, it is that there is a template or a form in which the relevant information is very important to fill out and fill out. Although form responses are often criticized as being cold and impersonal, uh, much time and thought may go into wording them and computers permit personalization and the mixing of paragraphs as well. So it makes a lot of sense to have form responses and then you uh, adapt them to the situation and you, person, you can personalize them as well now in this age of computers. It's not necessary that you send a form response back to the neutral. You आप जो शख्स हैं जिन्हें रिक्वेस्ट की है या जिन्हें इंफॉर्मेशन मांगी है आप उनका नाम उसमें डाल सकते हैं आप उसमें थोड़ी बहुत पैराग्राफ्स में भी रद्द बदल कर सकते हैं ताकि जो रिक्वेस्ट थी उसके साथ आपका ज्यादा डायरेक्ट रिस्पांस हो जाए ना कि एक वेग सा जनरल सा रिस्पांस जाए ना व्हेन अ पोटेंशियल सेल इज इन्वॉल्वड देन यू नीड टू यूज स्पेसिफिक क्राइटेरिया यू नीड टू यूज स्पेसिफिक सेल्स promotion techniques in the routine goodwill message that you are sending out. Prospective customers often request an annual report, a catalog, a brochure, a swatch of material or some other type of sample or information to help them make a decision about the product that they have encountered through advertising. If your company is like that, they are advertising their product and they are looking at the product बहुत इनफॉरमेशन मांगेंगे वो आपकी कंपनी के बारे में इत, आ, आपकी एनुअल रिपोर्ट मांग सकते हैं आपकी जो भी मटेरियल है उसका सैंपल मांग सकते हैं एक्सेट्रा या उसके ब्रोशर्स मांग सकते हैं उसके बारे में مزید इनफॉरमेशन मांग सकते हैं सो इन अ सोलिसिटेड सेल्स लेटर इन व्हिच द कस्टमर इज एंटिसिपेटिंग दैट दे विल बी गेटिंग समथिंग यू मे यूज द डायरेक्ट प्लान व्हेन आंसरिंग रिक्वेस्ट्स इन्वॉल्विंग अ पोटेंशियल सेल यू हैव थ्री मेन गोल्स नंबर 1 to respond to the inquiry and answer all questions. Number two, to encourage the future sale. And number three, to leave your reader with a good impression of you and your firm. Ye teen cheez hain, zahir hai, aap cha rahe hain ke aap koi cheez beche, ya koi apni service beche, ya koi apna product beche. To phir aapne ye teen cheez hain karni hain ke jo inquiry hai, usko aap foran respond kare hain. Or jo usme sawalat puche gai hain, unko behtereen tarike se unka jawab dhe. Number two, कोई भी आप आ, अपने पढ़ने वाले को इनकरेज करें कि वो आपका प्रोडक्ट या आपकी सर्विस खरीदें एंड नंबर थ्री आप इस तरह अपना मैसेज लिखें कि आपके पढ़ने वाले पे आपका और आपकी कंपनी का फेवरेबल इंप्रेशन पड़े नाउ लेट्स हैव अ लुक एट अ मैसेज वेयर अ पोटेंशियल सेल इज इन्वॉल्व एंड वे अगेन एज इन द प्रीवियस एग्जांपल वी गोइंग टू ब्रेक डाउन द मैसेज मैसेज इन डिफरेंट सेक्शंस एंड टॉक अबाउट ईच सेक्शन सेपरेटली in the introduction or the beginning, the writer says, here's the copy of Brightening Your Kitchen that you recently requested. Now this is a clear um, conversational statement of the main point and that's all that's required to start off the message. Uh, it's not very formal, there is no, uh, there is a reference to uh, what was requested but there is no lengthy reference to the previous co communication. It doesn't start off by saying with reference to your letter or request dated dash 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 uh, you basically starting off very directly you're mentioning that the audience had requested uh, this uh, material and the audience obviously the reader obviously knows that they requested it so they won't be surprised when they receive your message after this you present the key information um, by saying as beautiful as the full color photographs are you really need to inspect right tiles in person only then can you fully appreciate the sparkling colors, designer patterns and overall quality. Baywood Hardware, 313 Front Street is uh, in Clare Lake, is the nearest outlet carrying bright tiles. Now, here you're giving the key information, you've given the address of the uh, local store that carries the merchandise and all this information is presented immediately after the opening. After this, you give a reference to more specific information by saying uh, something like, from antique Victorian to sleek contemporary, bright tiles will help you achieve just the look you want. Spend a few moments now with the handy chart 
the right pattern for your decor on page 6 of the enclosed booklet. Then you'll know which patterns to look for when you visit Baywood Hardware. Now this reference to, the, to a specific page further emphasizes the benefits of the product. This suggestion also encourages the reader to take one more step towards the actual purchase. पहले तो उन्होंने बताया कि ये टाइल्स कहाँ मिलेंगी और उन्होंने कहा कि हमने ब्रोशर दिया है अब उस ब्रोशर में भी वो पर्टिकुलर पेज को भी रेफर कर रहे हैं कि आप जरा और देखें क्योंकि ये भी हो सकता है कि जो पढ़ने वाले हैं वो ब्रोशर को सरसरी तौर पे देख के और रख दें साइड पे रख दें और फिर शायद जाएँ टाइल खरीदने या ना जाएँ लेकिन इस तरह उनने स्पेसिफिक एक पैटर्न को स्पेसिफिक प्रोडक्ट को एम्फोसाइज किया है पेज नंबर बताया है कि कहाँ ये मिलेगा और फिर दोबारा से उन्होंने कहा ये हिंट किया है कि आप बेवुड हार्डवेयर स्टोर पे जाएंगे तो आपको ये चीज़ें पसंद आएंगी इट्स बेसिकली अर्जिंग द कस्टमर टू एक्चुअली टेक द स्टेप टू वर्ड्स गोइंग टू द हार्डवेयर स्टोर एंड ऑर्डरिंग मोर टाइल्स नाउ वी हैव इन फ्रंट ऑफ आस पर्सनल क्लोज विच कॉन्फिडेंटली पॉइंट्स टू वर्ड्स द पॉसिबल सेल दिन दिस द राइटर इज कॉन्फिडेंट नाउ दैट द रीडर विल एक्चुअली by the product by saying uh, mrs uh, riaz if you have any questions before or during installation please phone our toll free services hotline 1800 uh, whatever the number is you will get easy to understand answers every time now by by referring to the fact that they might have questions during installation the writer is assuming that the reader has actually bought the product जाहिर है जब प्रोडक्ट खरीदा है तभी उसको इंस्टॉल करा रहे हैं अब ये नोट करें कि इनने खत में तो अपने प्रोडक्ट को भी प्रमोट ही कर रहे हैं लेकिन उनने पहले ही क्लोजिंग में साथ ये लिख दिया है कि आप जब ये प्रोडक्ट खरीद लेंगे और इसको इंस्टॉल करेंगे तब आप ये ये कीजिएगा अगर आपको कोई प्रॉब्लम्स हो तो आप हमारे नंबर को फ़ोन कीजिएगा तो वो पहले से ही एज्यूम कर रहे हैं कि वो प्रोडक्ट खरीद लिया जाएगा न दिस इज़ अ वेरी इफेक्टिव स्ट्रैटेजी फॉर सेलिंग because it shows the reader that you are actually confident in your product and you know that your product is so good that the reader will buy it now another type of message could be where no potential sale is involved abhi to humne dekhe ki aise aisa message kaise likhte hain jahan koi sale involved ho aap kuch bechna aap kisi cheez kisi request ka jawab de rahe hain jahan aapki koi sale bhi ho sake लेकिन ऐसे भी मैसेजेस होंगे जहां कोई सेल का चांस नहीं है कुछ आपने बेचना नहीं है एंड देन देर आर टू एसेंशियल गोल्स व्हेन यू आर राइटिंग अ मैसेज वे नो सेल इज इन्वॉल्व यू आर देन इधर यू आर रिस्पॉन्डिंग टू अ रिक्वेस्ट एंड आल्सो यू आर लीविंग अ फेवरेबल इंप्रेशन ऑफ योर कंपनी और यू आर फॉस्टरिंग अ गुड वर्किंग रिलेशनशिप तो ये दोनों चीज़ें आपने जबकि हमने जहाँ सेल इन्वॉल्व थी वहाँ तो जाहिर है एक मेन पर्पज़ ये भी था कि आपके पढ़ने वाले आपके प्रोडक्ट को ख़रीदें इधर ये पर्पस नहीं है कि आपका प्रोडक्ट बिके लेकिन हाँ ये पर्पस ज़रूर है कि आपका आपके जो कंपनी का इंप्रेशन है वो अच्छा पड़े पढ़ने वाले पे और आपकी और उनकी एक वर्किंग रिलेशनशिप बेहतर डेवलप हो और जाहिर है जो उनने रिक्वेस्ट की है उसको तो आप रिस्पॉन्ड कर ही रहे हैं ना रिस्पॉन्डिंग फेवरेबली टू क्लेम्स एंड एडजस्टमेंट रिक्वेस्ट ऑल्सो नीड्स टैक्ट डिप्लोमेसी Uh, as anyone business knows customers sometimes return merchandise to a company they complain about its services ask to be compensated etc such complaints are golden opportunities for companies to build customer loyalty agar aapko unfortunately apne product ke bare mein koi complaint aaye jo ke aani nahi chahiye zahir aapka product itna acha hona chahiye ki uske bare mein koi complaint na aaye lekin agar kisi wajah se koi complaint aaye तो फिर ये एक बहुत अच्छी अपॉर्चुनिटी होती है एक कंपनी के लिए कि वो अपने कस्टमर्स के साथ अपनी रिलेशनशिप को बेहतर करें क्योंकि जाहिर है अगर वो उस कंप्लेंट को ठीक से डील नहीं करेंगे तो आगे फ्यूचर में वो कस्टमर जो है वो उनके पास वापस नहीं आएगा द मोस्ट सेंसिबल रिएक्शन इज़ टू अज्यूम दैट द कस्टमर्स अकाउंट ऑफ द ट्रांजेक्शन इज एन ऑनेस्ट स्टेटमेंट ऑफ वॉट हैपन्ड ना ऑब्वियसली इफ द कस्टमर इज telling you something they are saying that we bought this product at this time this uh, particular place and this is what happened uh, this is what is wrong with it then you need to assume that what they are saying is correct uh, unless the same customer repeatedly submits dubious claims or suspicious claims a customer or uh, they are patently dishonest 
returning if for example they are trying to return merchandise that has obviously been used or uh, they are trying to return a dress that has been worn and then they are saying that it is the wrong size that is where they want to return it or something like that. Um, or if the amount of money that is involved is very large you will not question the uh, claim of the customer. Agar to zahir hai, aapko sach mush lag raha hai ki ye to bilkul hi ghalat baat kar rahe hai, bilkul hi jhoot bol rahe hai, jo ye cheez return karna cha rahe hai, bilkul thik hai aur ye isko return kar rahe hai, ya inne istemal karke ab return kar rahe hai, jabke isme koi kharabi bhi nahi hai, uh, ya ye ke bohat zyada paise involved hai, bohat bada amount involved hai, iske ilawa aap agar ye cheeze nahi hai, to phir aap jo bhi customer keh raha hai, aap usko at face value le lenge, kyunke उस प्रोडक्ट को रिप्लेस करने में आपका कम नुकसान होगा लेकिन क्लाइंट को लूज करने में आपका ज्यादा नुकसान होगा बिकॉज़ यू नीड टू रिमेंबर दैट वंस अ कंप्लेंट इज मेड कस्टमर्स मे कम टू व्यू द ओरिजिनल ट्रांजैक्शन एज लेस इंपॉर्टेंट देन द इवेंट्स दैट कम आफ्टर द कंप्लेंट सो दे माइट फॉरगेट हाउ यू डेल्ट विद देम व्हेन यू आर एक्चुअली सेलिंग द प्रोडक्ट बट दे विल रिमेंबर हाउ यू डेल्ट विद देम व्हेन यू डेल्ट विद द कंप्लेंट so you need to be very careful in how you deal with that complaint to protect your company's image and to regain your customers uh, goodwill refer to your company's errors very carefully don't blame an individual or a specific department and also avoid lame excuses such as nobody's perfect or mistakes will happen because these will not really give a very good image of your company it will try to show that it, it will show that you're trying to just brush off the error that that happened uh, also don't promise that problems will never happen again such guarantees are unrealistic and often beyond your control if obviously a problem has arisen with uh, the product it was not deliberate it was beyond your control and your company's control so don't make firm promises that it will never happen again but explain your company's efforts to do a good job because in doing this you imply that the error was an unusual incident the letter uh, shows us how such uh, a complaint has been dealt with your letter about the golden harvest uh, canned fruit you recently purchased has been forwarded to our vice president of operations for review we are pleased that you took the time to write your satisfaction is important to us since 1906 golden harvest has been packaging fine foods uh, fine food products our workers and inspectors monitor quality carefully using the most up to date technology but we want to do an even better job your letter will help us do just that the next time you shop use the enclosed half price coupon to pick up a gift box a set of golden harvest holiday spices this coupon which will be honored wherever our fine speciality products our foods are sold is our way of thanking you for your interest in our products the writer has um, not directly laid blame on anybody they have not said that we are not packaging it somebody else is packaging it that's why there was a problem but what they're saying is that we have made the best efforts to monitor the quality of the product and the way of apologizing is that they have enclosed a coupon for uh, through which the customer will get their products uh, discounted or free now while uh, this is a very clever way of actually promoting their own product even though they are dealing with a complaint because by giving uh, a coupon for an alternative product of by the same company the company is actually introducing the reader to their new product the complaint was about canned canned goods or fruits and now they've given a coupon for spices to jinne abhi un us company ke spices nahi bhi kharide unko ek bar wo muft sample de denge और फिर जाहिर है वो इसीलिए दे रहे हैं कि शायद आगे उसको वो खरीदें इट एग्जाम्पलीफाइज द फॉलोइंग पॉइंट्स इट्स अ फॉर्म लेटर नाउ दिस काइंड ऑफ अ फॉर्म लेटर इज सेंट टू पीपल विद वेरियस टाइप्स ऑफ रिक्वेस्ट्स और कंप्लेंट्स विद माइनर एडजस्टमेंट्स इट्स द सेम फॉर्मेट ऑफ द लेटर दैट दे वुड बी यूजिंग फॉर डिफरेंट कंप्लेंट ऑफ डिफरेंट प्रोडक्ट्स ऑफ द कंपनी दे विल जस्ट चेंज द नेम ऑफ द प्रोडक्ट and it cannot start with a clear good news statement because various customers are seeking various types of good news so they have started directly with what the problem is it starts what might be called a good attitude statement which is the you oriented uh, attitude to put the customer at ease also at no time 
does the letter suggest that the customer was mistaken in questioning the quality of the product? They don't say that they are wrong with our product. Hai. They're not questioning the customer's judgment at all. Uh, the, uh, also, however, they're not even uh, admitting to any defect in the product. They're not admitting to any defect in the product. They're not saying that our product is defective, but they're not saying that the customer is wrong with the product. They're just accepting what the customer has said and not commenting on it but going on to more positive news. The middle explanatory section nicely combines the old and the new. It says Golden Harvest has been doing business for almost 100 years but its equipment is thoroughly modern. Uh, the, this explanation of the company's quality control may restore the reader's confidence in the product. So if the reader feels that the company is very old and the technology that they are using might be old, by saying something like this, they're actually, the company is actually saying that uh, although we are old, we, the technology we're using is very modern and the 100 years of experience is actually adding to our quality rather than taking away from it. Also, the letter closes with some resale and sales promotion. Uh, and this resale and sales promotion is made personal by the use of you and your, by, by these uh, pronouns. Now, obviously, if you get um, an adjustment letter like this, you are also likely to respond very favorably to it. So when you are writing uh, an, an adjustment letter like this, you can be sure that your clients will also respond favorably to you. Uh, a claim letter written as a personal answer to a unique situation would start with a clear statement of good news, the settling of claim according to the customer's request. Now, however, a claim letter written as a personal uh, answer to a unique situation. We have seen that this was a standard situation, thi, but there could be times when they, uh, the request or the complaint could be unique and then the claim letter would not be in, in a form format, but it would be uh, more personal. So uh, such a letter would start with a clear statement of the good news and then talk about the settling of the claim according to the customer's request. Let's have a look at an example. In just a few days, you'll receive a new factory-tested electronic metric scale to replace the one you returned. Thanks for giving us the opportunity to back up our claim of total buyer satisfaction. Now, if you uh, saw in this um, reply, the writer is, again, although they are um, telling the customer what it is that the customer will get, they're also thanking them because they, the customer has pointed out a problem with the company and also in the close they are pointing to their policy of total customer satisfaction again saying something positive about themselves as a company although they are responding to a complaint. Now other, uh, another type of message could be when you're approving credit if you're working for a company or if you're working in a situation where you need to approve credit for your customers. Uh, then you need to make, uh, keep in mind that handling cre routine credit requests is important because customers all often carry a wallet full of pl uh, plastic credit cards and businesses of all sizes operate more smoothly because they can pay for their purchases over time. A lot of the times in this day and age, a lot of transactions are not made by handing cash imme or immediately at the time of the sale. A lot of the work is done over credit or through credit cards. Uh, letters approving credit are good news messages and the first step in what may be a maybe decades long of a business relationship. So uh, if you're writing a credit letter or you're writing a letter approving credit then you're obviously giving out good news to your client. Here you need to open your letter with the main idea. In the middle section you will include a reasonably full statement of the credit agreements what are the upper limits of the account, the dates that the bills are sent, possible arrangements for partial monthly payments, discounts for prompt payments, interest charges for uh, unpaid balances, due dates, etc. Any, any details that might be relevant. Uh, when you're giving the details, you will state the terms positively and objectively, not negatively or in an authoritarian ma manner. Instead of saying something like your credit balance cannot exceed exceed uh, $5,000 uh, or 50,000 rupees, you will write with our standard credit account, you can order up to $5,000 worth of fine merchandise. It's the same, uh, it means the same thing, but you're putting the message positively instead of negatively. 
uh, another example could be instead of saying we expect your payment within 30 days of receipt of our statement, you will say payment is due 30 days after you receive our statement. Also when you are approving credit, the final section of the letter provides resale information and sales promotion, highlighting the benefits of buying from you. Uh, let us have a look at a letter that was written both to approve credit and to bring in customers. It says, welcome aboard. Here is your new ship to shore credit card which will make shopping at Conrad's even easier than before. Now you can make credit purchases up to a total of $100,000 or $1,000 or whatever the amount uh, you want to name. Now this is a good news opening and it gets right to the point. So depending on the purpose of your routine message, the function that you wish uh, it performs, you will tailor the opening accordingly, you will include necessary details and obviously then you will have a closing preferably something which uh, makes um, a possible of a future sale and also resells what uh, you are selling or what, what your, uh, the, the product that the customer already has ordered. In this lecture, we learned to decide when to write a routine uh, good news, goodwill messages and what type of message to write depending on the situation. We also learned to how to adjust the basic organizational pattern which was the three different sections of a letter that we looked at and how to um, arrange that, how to organize that to fit whatever type of message you are writing. We also learned how to add resale and sales promotion when writing because that is something that is important for the image of your company, for the sales of your company and for the success of your company. We also learned how to encourage the reader to take desired action by using a positive uh, note, by, using, by ending on a positive note and, by, and on a confident note as well. Uh, we also talked about uh, how to write uh, credit approval letters and uh, also the correct form for such specialized messages as instructions, news releases and goodwill letters. We also learned how to write credit approval letters and how to, uh, to uh, phrase the terms and conditions of those so that they come across positively rather than negatively or in an authoritarian manner. With this, we come to, today, uh, to the end of today's lecture on writing routine good news, goodwill uh, messages. Until next time, Allah Hafiz.